Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my July memory planning video. Um, I decided to do this as a um, standalone video because the month wasn't quite over yet when I started planning my August monthly and I wasn't really ready to do my memory planning going forward. I'm not sure if I'll combine those two videos um, or continue to do them separately, but at least for this month I decided I would do them separately. So um, as I mentioned in previous videos, um, this dot grid section, which is uh, parallel to the monthly dashboard here, is blank. And I decided um, when I was doing my setup video that this section would be used for memory planning. So I've already actually gone ahead and printed out some photos using my HP sprocket. Um, you can see them here and they'll be included in this spread. Um, the HP Sprocket is a mini photo printer. Um, it runs for about $100 on Amazon right now. Um, and if you're interested, I'll include my link below um, in the description area as to how you can find it. And then also too, um, I've got this little case that I purchased for it when I purchased the photo printer. To keep it safe, I store my photo um, paper in here whenever I'm about to run out. The brand is called Canbach and they sell this for $7.99 on Amazon. And I'll include, um, I'll include a link to that in the description below as well. So let's get this out of here. Um, also, before I put this away, this um, little vinyl sticker here is from Once More With Love. That's her signature bow. So if you're wondering, you can get that from Once More With Love. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So I picked out some Simply Gilded washi. Uh, this is a washi that I have on the monthly dashboard area. So I'm going to have that here in case I want to like decorate the photos with it kind of as a border. So I picked that out just in case. Um, this is going to be interesting because I'm not really sure what I'm doing just yet. I have the photos, but I haven't decided exactly how I'll decorate the section. Um, I also pulled out some papers that I got at one of our D stash. Um, at one of our recent planner meetups. Some people de-stashed some EC stickers they weren't using anymore, so I grabbed them. And there's some like nice primary colors in here that kind of complement this washi. So I think I might use that to complement whatever design that I do. And then in addition to these papers, I do have a bunch of EC sticker books over here to the side that I may or may not use to help decorate as well. You know, the EC books are super functional, include a lot of decorative, um, stickers and so I feel like any way to dress it up I'll probably use some of these. I've got the fourth edition, the third, the fifth edition, the most recent one, the kaleidoscope, the second, and the classic edition. So I've got all five I guess, yeah, five sticker books here um, as a possible uh, solution for decorating today. So uh, the sprocket photos all come printed out either um, in this two by three, two by three format um, vertically, or you can select horizontal photos and then it'll print it like that. Um, so I only print it four because they're kind of big. I think in the future I might like split them and do slightly smaller photos so I can include more. But I think for now, I think this is probably the most I can deal with because I'm a little bit overwhelmed at what I'm going to do here. I have an idea. I'm just not exactly sure how to execute it yet. So this should be an interesting video for you guys to sit along and watch with me. Um, so yeah, let's get started in order. I'm not going to do them like exactly in chronological order, but kind of like keep the things that happened together together. So like this New York trip um, happened at the beginning of the month and then later on in the month we went to the JLo concert and then later that week we went to a planner meetup. So I kind of figured this is how I'm going to lay these out. And so I am going to stick them down to the paper only because they're curling a little bit and I don't really want that to happen. So let's go ahead and peel off the backing. And as long as you have like a decent nail um, or you can get like a scoring tool or something like that, it should be fairly easy to get off. So I think this one I'm going to keep straight, well, as straight as I can. Try and use a dot grid to guide me here. Do I want to cover up this? Yeah, let's cover that up, that little column there. So the first photo is down. This one I'm going to put kind of parallel but slightly lower so they're not exactly the same. So let me straighten this a little bit. And then this 
part down here I'll do at like little angles. All right, so pictures are down. Now let's cover up the washi on top. Let me grab my um, whiteout. Hold on one second. All right, let's white this out. And I think I'm gonna put some washi up here. So what I think I'll do instead is do the two primary colors. So I'll do blue on top and red on the bottom, and then maybe use the white on the photos. Or is that what I wanna do? Hold on. Let's think about this first before I commit to that. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll do the white instead because it's just gonna, it's not gonna be, um, thick enough to not show. And this little washi cutter is just a kaleidoscope uh, bookmark from Erin Contran. It's actually a very effective washi cutter. So we'll do some washi here. So these photos here are from my trip to New York. I know I mentioned we were going for a wedding and that I would be seeing Hamilton, so I chose those two um, days as kind of the memories that I wanted to include here. You know what? I don't want to use that there. It's going to be too much blue on the top. And this photo is from our monthly planner meetup that was at Disney Springs, I think, last weekend. Was it last weekend? Yeah. This photo here is from the Jennifer Lopez concert that took place here in Orlando. Um, we went um, actually the week of this meetup. It was um, me, my sister, and then a bunch of the planner girls. So Anita, um, Shannon, uh, Lisa, and Alexa. I don't know why I just blanked on everybody's names right now. <laughs> um, but this is what this is looking like so far, and I don't feel like I'm mad at it right now. Um, let me see if there are some stickers that I can use to add like a little story or context about these different things. So let's see what I have. Kind of don't want to use gold or rose gold because there's silver in this washi, so I need to think about that. Okay, this could work. Okay, I think I like how that could work. So let me stick this down back here for a second and write on this sticker. All the blues I'm finding are like not exactly shade of blue that I kind of wish I had right now. So let's see. Maybe this could work. So I just did like a little arrow here to tie in that little caption to there. And I think it was this book that had some good silver options. Alright, and then I just need one more sticker, which I may just use the same one, same style. It's slightly different. Does that look too weird? That might look too weird. I think I saw other shades of blue that were kind of similar with some silver foil. So we're going back to this sticker book number four. That's where I got this red one from and I'm gonna pull this um, like dark blue sticker from here. So it's not exactly the same, but I think it works and it still mirrors this style here. 
Um, I am gonna add some of the little like asterisk from Erin Condren, the colorful ones and also some of the silver ones. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to think of a place where I can put this without it being too close to the same thing. Mm, I'll put that there. Maybe I should move them. Yeah, let me do that. It's bothering me. Alright, so let me press down this foil one since I had to move it. And that's gonna be it uh, for my July memory planner and I'm really happy with it. I <laughs> did not know how this was gonna turn out but I think I'm actually really happy with the way that it looks. So let me open it up to the full monthly view and now you can see how the washi kind of ties in with this washi here and I think I'm pretty happy with it actually. So yay! This really was Besides these four photos, completely unplanned. I, like I said, I had some ideas with using using the wash I already had in this part, um, and I did uh, take the AC books in the hopes that they could kind of dress up this section a bit, but I really didn't know how this would turn out. So I'm really happy with it, and I hope you think it's cool too, and it gave you some inspiration. Um, if it did, please let me know in the comments um, and give this video a thumbs up. Uh, also too, if you want to help keep supporting my content uh, by subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. The more subscribers I get, the more my channel can grow and more people can see my videos. Um, and then also too, if you subscribe and turn on notifications, you'll get um, a notice every time I post a new video. So um, that's it. This is Cynthia of Cynthia Plans. I hope you'll uh, subscribe and then also give me a follow on Instagram. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching.